So now the police are thinking of rolling out more armed units in areas with high crime rates. Now I will always, always applaud any attempt to deal with crime and get crime, particularly violent crime, such as knife crime, on the decrease. However, this is only a short term solution for a more deeply integrated, more deeply ingrained problem. Look at the areas that have the highest crime rates. They're all poor. You don't see people stabbing each other or gangs roaming around in lovely middle class areas or upper class areas. You don't see lovely middle class people in their yuppie suits and ties joining gangs and going and stabbing each other and murdering each other and dealing drugs on street corners. So this armed police uh, idea that's supposed to reduce the crime is not going to work, not the way they want it to. What's going to happen? You're going to have more armed police in poor areas, such as, say, Brixton, Moss Side, places like that. They're, they're going to be walking around, patrolling, carrying machine guns. Now, go to any of these areas, talk to the residents, talk to the community. They do not like police very much. They're not fond of them. Why? Because they believe that the police don't do anything for them. All they do is turn up, harass a few people, arrest someone, and leave. There's a video on YouTube you can find right now for yourself on Brixton High Street. Well, I used to work in Brixton. There's a video of a few black, black boys. They got a, a stall set up for a charity, a bookstall on the High Street. They're not selling the books. They had the books there. The books are free to take with the suggestion, not the demand, not, not the requirement, with the suggestion that you drop a little something in return in the box for the charity that they were raising money for. Please turn up. So if you haven't got a trading license, you can't operate that here. And there was an argument that ensued in which they demonstrated in front of Brixton Market to the police, we are not selling these books, we are giving them away with the request that they put some money in the box or put something in the box for the charity we we're raising funds for. The police then proceeded to physically restrain these people arrest a couple of them, and there was a whole uproar on Brixton Market about it. There's a video on YouTube you can see for yourself. Just type in, I don't know what you would type in, but type in Brix Brixton Bookstall Arrest or something. These kind of things is what leads the, the, these communities to not like the police and to resent the police. And you want to give the police guns to walk around. It's just going to look like a strong arm tactic, and it's not going to work. How long before we have another Mark Duggan scenario where the police panic, shoot someone dead, and then there's, then there's riots all, all over the UK, all over London. How long? 10 days? Fortnight? Month? How long? It's not gonna work. Same way that stop and search is a short-term solution to a more deeply in, in, ingrained problem, giving police guns and, and letting them roam the streets, poor, poor, poor areas freely, it's not gonna fix the problem. We fix the problem with more community outreach projects, more, more, uh, more policies to tackle poverty, such as a living wage, such as austerity needs to stop now. I know the Tories have said it will be ending. No, what they mean when they say austerity is over is they mean austerity is going to continue. They're just not going to call it austerity because the word austerity is now a dirty word. So they're just going to gloss it over, make it look like it stopped, but it hasn't really. We need to reopen the libraries, reopen the job centres that are closed. We need to stop pissing about and get these things sorted because they're closing job centres, they're closing the libraries. Food bank use is on the right. We need to do something about that. Get a living wage rolled out. And of course, people watching this, I know some of you are going to be like, well, how do you pay for all that? It's simple. You make the corporations that operate in the UK that have been caught out dodging their taxes in recent years. Amazon, Starbucks, Argos, Google. You make them pay. You say, look, you're not going to operate in the UK if you refuse to pay your taxes here. Cadbury's even. Cadbury's, last year, you know how much tax they paid? Sweet FA. Nothing. Not a penny. Ten years ago, they were paying billions. Not billions, but millions. Loads of money. Now they're paying sweet nothing. You know why? Because they've been bought out by an American candy company 
to be accurate, to, to use a proper Americanization of the word. They get bought out, new hands, don't want to pay any tax. So they, and people say, if you sting these companies for the tax, they're going to up and relocate elsewhere. Where? Where in Europe? The UK has the lowest corporation rate tax in the entire in the entirety of the European continent. And I don't mean the EU, I mean Europe as a continent. Where are they going to go? Someone once said, once said to me, oh, Ireland, they can go to Ireland. How many, how many corporations do you think can operate out of Ireland? The UK as a whole is much more bigger and much more influential and powerful to say that we have based ourselves out of the UK. It's a much better to say that than we've based ourselves out of Ireland, isn't it? Come on, let's, let's face reality. So we make those pay their taxes. We stop sending money and arms and, and bombs to fucking the Saudis. We stop funding war. It's, it's that famous Tupac quote. They've got money for war, but can't feed the poor. You take that money, you divert it from defence, and you put it into social social policies, housing, jobs, you know, things like that. Welfare. You reopen the libraries, you get people educated. Because what throughout history, whenever there's an oppressed people, what do they do first? They stop them reading. Because people who read get intelligent, they get intelligent, they will take back what's theirs. They will take their power back. So you need to get people out there get the libraries open again, get people reading, get people online and intelligent. And then what will happen then? You'll get more people, more people going to university. I missed out on the chance to go to university. And it haunts me to this day. I didn't want to go because I didn't want to be saddled with debt for the rest of my life because people didn't explain to me that that debt is actually wiped out once you reach a certain age and there's methods and, and ways, of, ways of actually making it work. No one actually bothered to explain that to me. So I thought, oh, I'll just be saddled, saddled with debt for the rest of my life. I don't want to go to uni. I missed out, and I regret it. So we need, to, we need to get more people to university. We need to get more people reading, educated, more people on the ladder to doing something with their lives, other than getting a knife, getting a gun, getting a pack of drugs, and going out, selling it, stabbing each other, and killing each other. Now, that's just the national level. That's just what, what the government can do as a whole. What can we do in our, in our local communities? Well, if you know someone who's poor, downtrodden, who hasn't got a job, find it hard, who is, who you can see is going down that road of crime, going down that road of drugs and, and being violent. You need to talk to them. You need to say to them, look, this isn't the way you're going to end up dead, you're going to end up in jail. I don't think with these kids, I don't think enough people are talking to them and actually saying there is another way, there's, there's ways you can do this, there's ways you can make something of yourself and be something more other than just a thug on the corner selling drugs and stabbing people who come near him. That's just my my view on this whole armed police in poor areas thing. How long? How long before we get a Mark Duncan scenario all over again? And then what will happen after that? There'll be more clamp down here, just even worse. You're not fixing the problem. Thanks for watching. See you next time.